Strap yourselves in. We're going to Mars. Not just a few astronauts, thousands of people are going to colonize Mars, and I am telling you that they're going to do this soon. Some of you will end up working on projects on Mars, and I guarantee that some of your children will end up living there. That probably sounds preposterous, so I'm going to share with you how and when that will happen. But first, I want to discuss the obvious question: Why the heck should we do this? Twelve years ago, I gave a TED talk on ten ways the world could end suddenly. We are incredibly vulnerable to the whims of our own galaxy. A single large asteroid could take us out forever. To survive, we have to reach beyond the home planet. Think what a tragedy it would be if all that humans have accomplished were suddenly obliterated. And there's another reason we should go. Exploration is in our DNA. Two million years ago, humans evolved in Africa and then slowly but surely spread out across the entire planet by reaching into the wilderness that was beyond their horizons. This stuff is inside us, and they prospered doing that. Some of the greatest advances in civilization and technology came because we explored. Yes, we could do a lot of good with the money it will take to establish a thriving colony on Mars, and yes, we should all be taking far better care of our own home planet. And yes, I worry we could screw up Mars the way we've screwed up Earth. But think for a moment what we had when John F. Kennedy told us we would put a human on the moon. He excited an entire generation to dream. Think how inspired we will be to see a landing on Mars. Perhaps then we will look back at Earth and see that that is one people instead of many. And perhaps then we will look back at Earth as we struggle to survive on Mars and realize how precious the home planet is. So. Let me tell you about the extraordinary adventure we're about to undertake. But first, 